Yo, 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 guys out there, yo. We gotta go out of here. Got to see a Rex. K24. And we're gonna do a bunch of work to this right here. But today, we're going to do a clutch, okay? Not just a clutch. We're going to do the action clutch right there. Excuse me. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. I mean, somebody just look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that. I know I, I know Rocky wanted on some of this action. Look at that. Rocky wants on some of this action. But, no, he's not ready. All right, we got here. Installation guys, you know. So if you guys are, you know, don't know how to do it, you know, you just uh, I don't know. Got the decal, you know, boom, boom. Oh, snap, look at that. Clean, clean, clean. Put that right there. We got throw off air right here. Excuse me, made in Japan, right there. Okay, we got the tool, we got the bearing. No blade for this guy today, no blade for this guy. We got the tool right there. We got this copper washer for the crank. And we got a pressure plate. Buddy. Yeah, buddy. What we got here? Action clutch. This is the Iron Man, okay? Iron Man action clutch. You guys out there want to go boost and make some power? I got exact same clutch in my car right now. I'm making my 486 and 310 torque. This thing is a killer. So, hit me up if you have any questions. I'll get you hooked up on one of these clutches. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do install on this CRX. Unfortunately, to do the clutch on the CRX being so tight, we gotta pull the engine out. As you can tell right there. Look at the clearance on that, barely. Look at the alternator pulley. Look at the water pump pulley. I mean, tight, tight. I have to drop the traction bars off, take the axles. Under the suspension, take all the fluids out, just a typical, it's got a quick release harness, I couldn't get it to get loose, I don't want to mess with it, so, disconnect the harness, disconnect your fuel lines, disconnect your clutch, your clutch line, your, your cables, your throttle body, uh, pretty much axles, hoses, radiator, and it's pretty much good to go, just gotta give you a little bit of, you know, how to, uh, how to do that. I don't have to show you step by step how to take uh, that stuff off, but so now we're just gonna drop it down.
Jack, or uh, to raise it, pull the engine whole way out. It would be nice to take the manifold and kind of slide the engine out, but I'm just gonna leave it there. See, kind of wrap something just in case it's gonna hit, just very soft. And then just do it right there, very easy. Two bolts. I already had it loosened up before I dropped it down, so it's only two top bolts. Pull the training out, and there's your clutch. So now we're gonna install the new bad boy right there. So there you have it. Boom, boom. Now I just gotta put it back together and get cracking on the turbo setup and along with other stuff.